Be sure to refresh this channel multiple times each day for the hottest and latest WWE news and rumors. Like and subscribe. In this very video, we are going to be discussing The Undertaker in WrestleMania. Brock Lesnar's WWE Championship defense at WrestleMania. We're going to be talking about Roman Reigns and Baron Corbin, a stipulation of stipulations for the Royal Rumble and Impact Wrestling for one night only is returning back to the three letters that they're so known and so synonymous for, T-N-A. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start off at the top, the WrestleMania, the lot of questions. Will The Undertaker compete at WrestleMania? Will The Undertaker have a match at WrestleMania? Will The Undertaker be an important part of WrestleMania like he has been for over a decade? Well, not this year because The Undertaker will be competing in Saudi Arabia. Because The Undertaker has a major part to do with Saudi Arabia. The Undertaker, we all know the money. We all know the prestige. We all know what's going on there. We all know what's happening. Now, it's not yet known who The Undertaker will be facing in Saudi Arabia in the month of February. But what we do know is that Baron Corbin and Roman Reigns are going to be having their own match tonight. And that match will determine the stipulation for their match at the Royal Rumble. Whoever wins will get to pick not only the time, not only the location, but exactly what that match will be. What that match will consist of. And that's all good and well because in From There... The WWE Championship, the richest prize in the industry, is going to absolutely be on the line. As Brock Lesnar reportedly will be going against Cain Velasquez at WrestleMania. Now, I don't see this as a match that people would really be looking forward to. I don't really see this as being a match everyone would be like, oh, I can't wait for it. Because we've already seen it, we've been there, we've done that. And I think Brock Lesnar should have a much better and bigger match than that. But that is what it is. And then, in from there, ladies and gentlemen... Yes, for one night only, TNA returns to Impact Wrestling. And you know what? Most people know it by TNA anyways. That's what most people know it by. That's what people have remembered it by. That's the history. That's the significance. So TNA will be returning for one night only under that name. And again, I don't know what's going to be presented. I don't know what's going to happen. But ladies and gentlemen, what we do know what is happening is Sean's viewing team and is right here and right now, right in front of you. And as I always do, I don't just give you the rumors, the news, and the headlines. No, no, no. I give you the updates. I give you the significant changes. And The Rock has now paid tribute to his father, Rocky Johnson Online. You can check that out right now. WWE will be, be, will be possibly bringing back injured superstars to the Royal Rumble for a possible surprise entrant. And we all know the Velveteen Dream is in that conversation, but his back issues are reportedly said to be pretty serious. WWE planning longer, very serious program for storylines and everything else that in angles that play out. There will be more of an endgame. There will be more consistency. There will be more continuity in storylines. The WWE has locked down Harlem Heat's name with Booker T and Stevie Ray of the tag team in WCW. There is a big belief that John Moxley will, the former Dean Ambrose, that John Moxley will compete and return and wrestle for the WWE once again. And ladies and gentlemen, from there, that's all I gotta say. Share and subscribe. Prolific, consistent, and dedicated Sean View Entertainment, ladies and gentlemen.